Okay, guys, so here at the third combine, right. one of the all-time greats, Logan Steber. Are him and Gus the same age, actually? He's a year old, same grade, but he's a year older than Gus. Okay, so they're the same grade. Did Gus came through with this group that got really good because of kind of Logan, right? Yeah, Gus, Tassari, Hunter, um, Jamie Clark, that group. That's yep. who we dealt with every weekend. Really good group. Yeah. I know that's why Ian, my nephew, got good because he lost all those guys. Gus included, right? Gus beat all of them except for <laughs> Logan. Are you serious? Yes. He beat all those guys? Well, they beat him back. And they went, they've gone back and Traded forth. Traded back and forth. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And then Ty Mitch would have been in there, too. He did all these guys. Johnny DeJulius is right around that. But they're both a little bit smaller than those guys, aren't they? Yeah, they're a little But it was a really good group of guys. Another guy named Felipe Martinez. Remember Felipe? <laughs> of course, I remember <laughs> Felipe. So, you know, we look at this. Logan didn't have this. He didn't have this. Gus Seiko didn't have this. They didn't get a combine. They didn't get these great clinicians to come in. What's it like, you know, for you to watch, you know, your son Max gets to go. He's been at all three of them. What do you think Max is getting out of this stuff? No, I mean, what, what those guys didn't have, they made up with other things. You know, there's other, there's, I mean, the, the Ohio dogs grew up with the, the Bur, um, Burnett's. I mean, you got, you're not going to get any better than that, you know. Um, but this is just more organized, trying to pull the whole state together to try to, pool that talent you know that's what was missing in the past i mean these kids all are still gonna get great workouts where they go and you know you could you could find logan if you want logan for your kid uh, but the fact that we're bringing it together making it one one group with a controlled set of resources which makes it unique you know when we talked in march at the state tournament yourself jared jody and i is this going the direction that you want right now? Is the vision coming to fruition how you want it to with Coach Dave Riggs involved? Is it doing what you guys want it to do? Yeah, and it's going to take it's going to take a couple of years for this team to get to its full potential. There's still a lot of fracture in Ohio. Dads wanting to run their, whatever reason, want to run their own teams, um, pulling talent from different directions. What we're trying to do is a service to Ohio, not a service to ourselves. Um, there's a big difference there. We're trying to get the best team Ohio has and put them on the mat. Um, it'll take a few years to cycle through some of these dads because they're, they're dads. When their kids are gone, they could give two craps about wrestling anymore and they're, and they're gone. You know, we've been in this sport 30 years. We're not going anywhere, so we'll just continue. Longer for you, actually. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> it's a longer. When did you graduate from Wellington? 85. 85. So literally longer, 35 years from high school wrestling, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy to think of. Then Cleveland State, when did you graduate? 90. Yeah, 89, 89, 89. Wow. So if you look at that, you know what I mean? You've had such an impact on Ohio wrestling. Before there was Defense Soap, you had impact on Ohio wrestling. What has your impact like been like since you have a business that's a wrestling business, but it's it's involved, evolving into more than just a wrestling business. It's a sanitation business. It's a it's a soap business. It's right. It's it's personal hygiene. What has your influence been like from for early years of West Shore to now? Well, now I have um, now I have resources. You know, before you're, you're a one-man guy, you know, and you can only do so much. Now now that I have a company, a little bit of money behind it that can pay for part of this team, you know, pay for the coaches on this team, uh, stuff like that. It makes it makes your reach a little farther because you have the resources. I watch all of the UWW events, and I get to see these, like, great highlights, and I'll see the Defense Soap logo in the background. And you know, it pumps me up, right? I get super yeah. pumped. Amazing highlights, right? Um, I don't know if you guys are going to be in Tokyo, Tokyo or not. Not you personally, but if Defense will be at the event. We, we pull back this year on that. We we kind of got beat up a little bit um, during COVID with the no events, but we still had to pay our sponsorship fee. Oh, so we got a little beat up with that. Not uh, we're not in bad terms, but we're just not happy with that contract worked out. Um, that was a big contract, so. Um, we're just reinvesting. We did a big thing with uh, Flow that you're aware of. Just talk about that a little bit. You know, you know, you're, you're now in the space with Flow Wrestling, and you're going to start working with them. It's already started now. I, I do yeah. believe it's already started. But you know, you've been with them before. Now you're back with them. They own a large part of the space in wrestling. Talk about your agreement. And what you guys are going to do with Flow Wrestling? Well, it's it's all based upon was that really impressions. Um, how many times they could put me in front of uh, a wrestling audience. The reason why we're with Flow is they're the only game in town. We, we were with Track for years. We were very happy with Track, but Track got bought by Flow. So we kind of got um, folded in over there uh, with Shane Sparks. That's who, our, who we deal with over there. Um, he, he 
folded us into the the fold and he went and he battled for us. He went and said, listen, you know, they didn't get a good deal with you guys last time. They're not very happy with this, but nobody really got a good deal of flow in the beginning. Um, they, I think a guy that CEO or CFO or whatever of um, USA Today is now involved in flow and is running it more like a business. When you look at the lessons you've learned, maybe, you know, the UWW lesson, the early flow lessons, how do you apply those to future business relationships? Uh, I just maybe make, well, I'm going through right now with NWCA. NWCA gave me a, a deal about being a sponsor of this, sponsor of that. That, that, doesn't, that doesn't sell soap for me. I need contacts and introductions and, you know, references. So now I'm, I rewrite their contract. That's what Charlie and I are doing this week, rewriting our contract with them. I don't need to be the sponsor of the national duels. I'd rather, be the, I'd rather have a mailing list that you can introduce me to half the people on that list so I can talk to them. So um, that's what I've learned. Don't just, don't just take whatever contract they get. Make sure you get what fits you. With dealing with people, everybody really seems wants sponsorship. They don't understand the difference between sponsorship and partnership. What is the difference between sponsorship and partnership for Guy Seiko and Defense Hope? Well, I mean, everybody just wants money, right? Well, well free money. Yeah, they want free money. My name is worth $50,000, so give me $50,000 and we'll let you use our name. Nobody's name is worth $50,000. I'll tell you, in the world of wrestling, nobody's name is worth $50,000. Um, nor should it be. A partnership is like us. You, you work with me and I work with you and I think we have a really good, um, a, a good partnership. Um, you take me all around the country, you take me wherever you go, it, it's really good. That's, that's a partnership. A You're part saying you and I? Yeah. A partnership. If you could, could you lay that out to other people? Like, this is what Zeb Miller does for me. Could you do this for me? Would you do that for people? Yeah. Would, you, would you explain that to them? Yeah. This no. is what this guy does for us. Yes. And then maybe they would get it a little more? Maybe. But everybody just wants a, a handout. I, I get that. I get, you might have, you've been in wrestling for a long time, but you know what? So have we. We've been in wrestling for a long time too, you know? So, you know, one hand, I'm one hand washing the As soon as I hear, Oh, let's see how we can work together. I, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, let's see how we're does gonna it, work does together. Does it get old? It gets real old. I mean, <laughs> it calls. I mean, we're talking. This happens three, every four day. times a week. Yeah, every day. Every day. Every day, somebody has a, somebody has something that they want to do that does not necessarily bode well for us at all. Well, we're what we're excited about is nil right now, right? Yeah. Is, how is the? I was just gonna ask. How is the name and image likeness? Because I already got contacted. Someone's like. Hey, you work for defense. We let's do something. And I was like, no, here's here's guys. You call guy. Well, the cool part is, I think we have like uh, 14 kids in Division One right now. That are that you're gonna do stuff with with name and image well, like there's West Shore St. Ed's kids. I love it. So first round goes right to my guys. First round automatically contacted them all already, and they're like, ah, oh, sure, coach, whatever, you know. But you know, this is this is how partnership works. I'm their coach. They would do it for free, but no, we're not gonna do it for free because. We're, the partnership, we're gonna take care of the kids and they're gonna do some work for us. But we're starting with our guys. Why would I start with somebody else's guys? I'll start with my guys. You know, you talk about that, everyone asks for stuff. I, I do gotta say this about you. You don't say no a lot. No, but I, I have a good memory. <laughs> you don't say no a lot. I have a good memory. I know who takes advantage of me, who tries to. So when people hit you up I and mean, then they hit you up again, normally the second time sometimes to know if they're not doing right by you. Exactly. Hey, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say about that, but like, right, fool me once, yep. shame on me, right? Exactly. Right? I mean, that's, you know, that's the biggest thing I think you learn from, from relationships. And that's not just business, but that's wrestling. That's life relationships exactly. as well. That's why I love dealing with wrestling. Most, most of the time you do with wrestling, you, you know, you got a pretty hard working, salted earth guy in front of you that you're going to deal with. And that's, that's a good relationship. It's when you start to get to the, the fringes, these other companies that service wrestling or now I'm in more of the world of grappling world, different culture, you know. Brazilian jiu-jitsu, grappling, they're different, they're different than us. Yeah. But they're in our kind of crossing into our space too, though. They are crossing to our space. They're nowhere near as organized as us. They're, they specifically think they're worth way more than what they are. That, which one? Does it just both of them kind of? Well, no, jiu-jitsu and that. I mean, they, they want big money for what they yeah. do. I mean, like... Um, like Dave Dean and Roger Chandler, they had that new weight combat now. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? Yes. They're taking a big chunk out of jiu-jitsu. A jiu-jitsu tournament used to be $100 entry fee, single elimination. Oh, wow. $100 single elimination. And a couple hundred guys would enter. And not really. Not really? Yeah. I mean, maybe 100 would be a big tournament. But now you've got, like, uh, these wrestling guys, and they're, they're running jiu-jitsu tournaments. 
40 bucks double elimination. Well, where are you going to go? You know? Yeah, and, and gonna get, you get on the mat twice, on the mat twice right? Uh, where do you see NLI going? You know, did, is there something where you thought St. Ad's guys first, West Shore guys first, and then do you start to work up to the Gables, the Spencer Lees, I, and I, the I RBYs? I mean, I'm, I'm a big believer in capitalism, and I think this is the best thing to happen to these kids because they're going to learn about capitalism. They're going to learn that they need to set up a business. They're going to need to learn they got to pay taxes. They're going to learn to get insurance. They're, they're going to learn these things if they're represented, if, right? If they're starting... So they're already getting them bad deals. I can already tell you that. Yeah, so I, gonna, all I can tell personally, me speaking, they're not going to get in a bad deal with you because they're not going to get locked into a bad deal because it's not your style. No. My guys, I will absolutely take care of. Um, and it's crazy. They're all different. I've been reading all the schools, different compliances and everything. They're, they're all about the same, but they all got some kind of little wacky nuances with them with themselves. Um, but we're not going to screw anybody, so it's not going to matter. I love it. I, I know that. I can attest to that. I know that. I love it. Um, all right. Dave Riggs, where's his head at right now? You guys are talking. No, he's excited right now. We're looking at who's going to be the assistant coach on for his team. Um, there's a couple times there's two teams rather than just one, so we need a second coach. We're going to kind of let the tournament – we have a couple people we're going to talk to, but we're going to let the tournament kind of shake out to see – who is actually on the team? There might be a really good dad. Yeah. A really good dad. There's some really good kids on this team whose dad have college experience that might want to step in and do that and be traveling. Uh, a name that jumps out there is Tommy Rollins, right? I mean, <laughs> I don't know if you can get better than that. Yeah. I mean, he just went zero to 100, but okay, yeah. I mean, that's the type, that's what we're talking about. So, you know, if Tommy has his kids on the team, maybe he'll, maybe he won't mind doing it. Yeah. You know, so that's what we're, what we're looking at. But we're going to let the tournament shake out to see what we have so you can make it better. In two weeks at Pursuit, right? Correct. In, here in Columbus. Yeah, I haven't been there. It's a beautiful facility. It's unreal. I've seen the, seen the video. Um, nice mats. Looks pretty good. Awesome. All right. Anything else do you want to talk about? Flow Wrestling Partnership? Anything else? NLI? Anything else? I didn't or to say at all. I think you said it. It's summertime. I like to get my one day in a mat a week and get at it. All right. Give, give me the ending. Go. Yep. The film you built.